In 2008, DFID's education sector support program was implemented in six states, including Lagos, to develop effective planning, financing, and delivery systems that would improve quality teaching and learning. For Lagos State, the initiative in the last eight years has boosted improved teachers' capacity, exposed and upgrade public schools to modern techniques. At the end of program dissemination, stakeholders in the sector are recognized for the project's success. The Chairman State Universal Basic Education Board, Ganyu Shukpenyi, who was among the award recipients, says the project was in tandem with the present administration's quest for sustainable education. Now we've been able to see how we can do the right thing and get things done, like for example in the area, area of budgeting you know, and planning. We've had a lot of trainings on this and we've, put, we've been putting all of this in place. In the area of um, uh, school improvement programs, a lot of activities have been drawn and um, we've been practicing them, like um, reusing of uh, lesson, lesson notes and so on, uh, instructional materials and so many other things like that. All of these are what, you know, would um, help us and in fact we have been we have been getting results really now the achievements recorded in the state the permanent secretary ministry of education adishino odeyemi underlines the roadmap for development plan in enriched capacity program and improved learning outcomes i can say conveniently that uh, estina had made an uh, indelible impact on us here in lagos state i remember when they came they did a base study on our teachers, on our facilities. And when the report now came out, that became a roadmap for us to plan. And we have been stick to that plan up till the present. And you can see that uh, in terms of a school uh, development plan, we have uh, made some significant uh, impact in our schools. Even in terms of capacity building of our teachers, we've had a lot of uh, improvement in the, uh, the way our teachers now go about doing their responsibilities. And even in, the, in terms of the learning and uh, teaching, I mean teaching and learning outcomes, there is a lot of improvement. And you can even see that one in, in, in the result, in the outcome of the result of our external examinations. We have been improving. Uh, over the years. And that shows that we're on the right track. According to the state's team leader, Espen, Dr. Oluwa Fumilayo Olalusi, the vision to create an effective education system must be encouraged despite the program roundup. Developments are in various areas. There are many factors affecting education. So you cannot take one aspect and say you have done it until you do a whole, you know, whole school approach to it like Espen is doing an integrated approach. Certificate is different from competency. So if you look at that area alone, and you don't talk about the environment, the teachers, some teachers are not motivated. Even some, even when they are motivated, they may not perform, but if you do your part along that area, you motiv motivate teachers, at least more of them will be dedicated. There are some learning materials, sometimes that import, that do not address our own environment. And that is why, from a perspective, teachers are trained to improvise with whatever is around. You know, you could see some, you use even the, the cover of bottles, you can use it to do many things. But if you want to be waiting for, you want to import, you want to import, you not be giving the children the kind of education that, you know, where they can, where they are. You know, can function. Former Chairman Zubeb, Bolan Odaudu, and other award recipients speak. I can go to sleep and I have nothing in, my, in mind that education in Lagos will be a thing of pride that every one of us will join hands to support and be proud of that we have participated with it. I continue to read out what others have said that they have done for us and we appreciate very much. I thank you, government. I thank SP. I know how much I've scaled up, brought up, improved upon in the course of doing my job. Our teacher's capacity improved. The management staff at Super and the LJ level has equal, we have equally enjoyed a lot from 
Explain. When we talk of grassroots explainers, tremendously impacted in terms of school improvement. Even if Spain is going, the technical personnel who are Nigerian, who are residing in Lagos State, can still be part of the supporting officers when Lagos State fully take over. As Oliver Twist, stakeholders are requesting for the extension of the program for sustainability. Meanwhile, the Director General of Quality Assurance in the state, Ron Kesho Yombo, has called for a more integrated approach in achieving a vibrant education system. She gave the charge while declaring open the 7th Annual Conference of the Association of Private Educators of Nigeria. Shoyombo who believes the state government's commitment to achieving unparalleled standards appealed for more cooperation and support of major players in the sector. I must emphasize that the purpose of schools should not be to focus just on examinations, but to focus on developing the real skills that children will need in their lifetime. Dr. Makil Miyakote, his government is looking for creativity in schools, and this can be seen with a current initiative on code labels, where at least one million children will be able to code successfully by May 2017. As I'm aware, training and teacher development is one of APEC's key priorities, and we at Office of Education Quality Assurance support this laudable effort. I must say that APEC as an organization has consistently given a good account of itself over the years, and we're proud to be associated with you. Thank you. Having said this, you must agree with me that a lot still needs to be done to improve the quality of education in the state, in particular, and Nigeria in general. We cannot leave everything to government with all its resources and to scarce to fulfill the needs of the state's various sectors. We need to focus more on giving quality education to our children because the reward there really is unquantifiable. The theme of the conference is explore, discover, and innovate. In another development, as part of its function to ensure quality education across board in the state, the Office of Quality Assurance embarked on a routine inspection. Led by the Director General Ron Keshu Yombo, the team inspected Glory Nursery and Primary School in Ibejuleki area of the state. 